Hello there Aquarius, uh, welcome to your tarot reading. So I'm going to relay some messages that came out for you guys while I was shuffling the cards and then we're going to get the spread laid out for this month and then I'll go into that, okay? Um, the first thing here is you're going to be able to blast through some obstacles. So that overall is a really good thing, okay? Um, however, there is a caveat to that. Here's the thing. I feel like, you know, uh, through the strength of your conviction, and a lot of the times I mentioned that, you know, when you, you're, you're very, like, uh, directed, you're a little bit tunnel vision. When you want to know something, I feel like you will, do, you know, forge ahead and just be very, very directed and a little bit pushy, too, in, in the quest for finding out information, right? And a lot of the times, the information that people tell you, it doesn't really align with the things that you already have in your head. So you might not be ready to hear it, okay? So I feel like in, uh, on, on the one hand, you, you will be able to, you know, through the sheer force of your determination, um, overcome a lot of obstacles in your own life. You don't take no for an answer and uh, you're forced to be reckoned with. But on the other hand, I almost feel like a lot of the times we need to be a little bit more strategic about where we are diverting our energy in what causes we really believe in and whether or not um, we need to advocate, you know, like wh whether or not we need to like shout things out from the rooftop or whether or not we should be strategic and go quietly without um without having to advertise to everybody what we're doing okay so i feel like keeping mum might be the word for this month uh where you need to like you know keep things close to your chest and not let too many people know what you're up to because i feel like um you need to you know sit alone with it and then internally try to dissect it and try to sift things out before you interact with another person because if you bring ideas um too soon into the public other people might have an opinion about something that might differ from you and even though you feel like okay there's some validity to what they're saying but because it automatically, you know, uh, comes up, confronts whatever you believe in, then you might just defend whatever initially you believed in without having all the details, mainly because you feel this opposition coming through from the other person. So I feel like sitting still, mulling over your ideas before you present it to the world is going to be really important for you to figure out, you know, what are some of the pros and cons and what are some of the things that I've overlooked in the process of defending this belief or, you know, thinking about this one way in which I have to forge ahead. Like what are, where are the blind spots that I'm not aware of? So going through that process internally, really sifting it out before you bounce ideas off another person, I feel it's going to be important for you. Okay. So blasting through obstacles, I feel that's going to be good for you. I feel for some of you too, there's this period of waiting that is um, making you feel quite uncomfortable. It's like waiting from, uh, for more information, waiting for more feedback, waiting on, I, I feel like for some of you, performance review, performance evaluation as well. Okay, so I do sense that as well. And I also feel a lot of you, there is an offer on the table, but you don't know financially if it's going to pan out for you. Okay. And so for those of you who have an offer on a t on the table and you're not really sure, like, oh, I don't know if I should go ahead with that. I don't know if it's going to pay enough. I feel that it's going to pay enough and I feel that it's going to be good for you to go ahead with it. Don't overthink. Don't overanalyze. Go ahead with it. And um, I feel that it's going to work out tremendously. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling as well, there is going to be a helper coming into the picture. And the helper, I feel like this is somebody that is um, uh, through an act of generosity, through um, either they're, they're providing like financial assistance, they might tell you about a financier, they might tell you about a funding source um, that can actually help you move ahead with projects. 
if you are looking for loans for example they might tell you of somebody that you know can provide like really low interest rates on loans that you should look into so I feel like they're giving you bits and snippets of information financial information that can really be prosperous for you and then for others of you I feel like somebody is coming through with a physical helping hand in order for you to achieve something that you wanted for quite some time they're giving you you know like physically a helping hand they might give you like a, a, um, a pointer or they might give you something physical in order to help you through um, a process okay so you have some really strong things coming through for this month I don't feel it's gonna be like an entirely smooth sailing month despite you know the helper coming in but I, I feel like you know the way in which you communicate uh, with other people and you know being a lot more receptive okay so rather than exhibiting you know like that the Queen of Swords energy where she has her sword up and her hands outstretched you know I feel that you need to be able to appeal to somebody on an emotional level in order to get them on board and in order for to 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 allow them to see a little bit more of that vulnerable side to you so that they feel like they can trust you and they feel that you know with that emotional connection it allows people to trust us right and so it's not all logic based it's not about you know presenting the most coherent cogent argument it's about allowing ourselves to open up to others on a human level so that other people feel that you know they're emotionally in tune with you and then they can help you move your projects along or they can help you get yourself to the direction that you need to be okay or you've been wanting to to get into you have some very similar cards to Gemini and it's really interesting because um, I did Gemini right before this and I shuffle the cards I'm using like um, I have multiple decks of this same um, deck I have multiple decks of this and um, you're getting very very similar cards to them so let me just um, see here okay so first of all the major theme for this month is um, how we relate to others okay and whether or not we can emotionally appeal to other people so that we're all on board with the same thing we're all on board with the same ideas we're all on board with the same project okay so um, this is traditionally what I think about like um, this is a card about job interviews okay when it shows up in, in the reverse it's usually like going on a job interview where people are talking about you and then when it's in the upright position acing a job interview doing something really really well so that other people want you on their team they want you on board okay and um, I feel one of the main thing is that I feel that a lot of you have been waiting on this for quite some time okay so for the past two months even and you're just like when is this gonna come in for me okay and I honestly feel because you are an Aquarius you have a habit of doing this where you really want something and then the moment that it starts to emerge that is actually gonna happen for you you start to get cold feet and you're just like do I really want that uh, because it feels so final you know like um, if you want something and you see it emerging on the horizon if you really want that job and you see it emerging on the horizon finally despite all the time that you've been waiting on it but you you get cold feet and you get scared and you tell yourself like do I really want that is that in my best interest right now um, is that gonna require too much of a change in my life in order to get that thing so I feel like for a lot of you this might be like a project this might be like a major major advancement that you've been wanting for some time and now that it's coming into the picture you're getting really really cold feet I feel a lot of fear in this spread okay a lot of fear fear of change fear of change fear of venturing outside of your comfort zone fear of having to bounce around fear of not being able to make it and fear fearing that other people are not going to see you as a competent, as a smart, as an intelligent, as a capable person. So there's a lot of fear in this spread. And, you know, everyone has their fears, but I feel like your fears start in the head, right? And, you know, you, you cycle through your fears. You think about it over and over and over again. When you go to sleep, you think about it. Bef the first thing in the morning that you wake up, you that's the first thing you think about. And so your fears start to spin out of control. So one of the things that we need to, you know, really um, 
think about is don't cross that bridge until you get there okay if there's an, a problem that you're anticipating on the horizon like in october or in november don't cross that bridge until you get there don't exert all your energy feeding into this fear that's like you know months down the line it might not or it might or might not materialize but i feel like you're feeding into something that is not real at this present moment in time so staying grounded enjoying you know whatever you have here in the present moment is going to be very important for you and cross that bridge when you get there down the line okay so that's just my overall advice for you um so here's what i'm, I'm sensing as well a lot of you are in a financially um stuck type of a relationship okay and um, i feel like financially if you are coupled up with another person I feel that the other person might be draining your resources, okay? I feel like this is a person that is not capable of taking care of themselves. For whatever reason, they're not making the most out of the opportunities that are presented in their lives, okay? So they might have some type of fear about um, venturing out into the, the work environment. They might have fears about, what for whatever reason, there's a lot of insecurities here okay associated with the person that you're in a relationship with for whatever reason they feel like you know they haven't gotten the proper education they feel like they haven't gotten the the proper credential and so they 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 fear failure when they go out to look for work when they go out to look for jobs or when they go out to you know promote themselves so as a result they don't really do anything so they're very stagnant in their own life if you are like married or living with or or for whatever reason with this person I feel that you are shouldering the, emo the the financial and the emotional burden in this relationship. And um, this is a situation where the both of you are stagnating because energetically you're blocking each other. Okay, if one person wants to like better their lives and look for opportunities and expand and the other person is all um, all about retrenchment. Okay, not making proper changes, not wanting to do anything different. And they're, they're fearful overall of how other people judge them when they have to go on the job interview process. Nobody likes that, okay? But nobody likes to be judged. Nobody likes to have to prove themselves in the public sphere. But I feel that there's a lot of fear associated with this. So energetically, you are blocking each other. You're no longer growing in this relationship. And I feel like the other person might be might have wanted to leave for quite some time but because of financial entanglements because of financial security they're staying in the relationship so i feel that you need to really you know try to resolve this situation within within uh you w between you and your partner because it seems like it's very problematic it seems like you both are growing apart you're not growing to your potential they're not growing to to their potential as a result of this safety net this crutch of a relationship okay so there are some things here that we can no longer turn a blind eye towards okay so we really need to address these things and not let them exacerbate further down the line okay so taking initiative taking charge is something that you're going to have to do um, as it relates to your household okay so you might be living with a partner you might be married to a partner taking charge is something that you need to do in order to get yourself to a happier place okay so that's just for some of those uh sagittarius uh, i'm sorry aquarius that are dealing with this okay a relationship that feels like very stagnant that is financially hurting you as well okay on the other hand um what i feel here is this so i mentioned earlier that um you know a lot of the times you're very you're a straight shooter right and um i feel like other people might have a difficult time connecting to you emotionally okay and you know everybody has an emotional side to them and you're not an exception aquarius it's just sometimes it takes a very very um someone who's like very patient someone who is um that you really trust with your heart like wholeheartedly in order for you to open up to them okay so i feel like this is the month in which you are gonna have like a very very candid um soulful very honest discussion with another person 
about, you know, where things are headed between the two of you, whether or not, you know, I, I feel like the idea here is about, you know, what I feel for you versus, you know, where my life is going. So these two are going to be coupled up in a discussion that you have with another person. And you might, for all, you know, intent and purposes, have like the best feelings in the world with this person. You might really, really care about this person. Like on a, on a human level, you really care about this person. You might have been through a lot with the other person. Okay? You, you might be, have been through a lot. But for whatever reason, what you want in the relationship is conflicting with your public image. Okay, so it might be like um, what you want to 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 happen for yourself. You know, family, children, kids, etc., uh, marriage, even, um, and what you need to do in order to move your career ahead. These two things are kind of like not aligning right now in your life. And it's not aligning in a way where you can see yourself with this person long term or you can see yourself. So I feel like you're going to have a major, major discussion here with another person about these things. And I feel honestly that there's a lot of love here. But I feel like, you know, um, career, public image, finances are really getting in the way of the relationship. Okay, so I'm, I'm sensing that there's going to be some of you might end a relationship others of you might um, revisit this relationship at a later time when you're ready so either way i feel like it might lead to a separation and maybe even reconnecting at a later time when your finances when your career is is on track okay so i feel like some difficult decisions need to be made and i feel like you have been procrastinating on this decision for quite some time because I feel like it's hard for you, like a lot of the times, Aquarius, when you get emotionally attached to somebody, it, it's not an easy feat, okay? And it doesn't happen very often. So once you find somebody that really emotionally just uh, allows you to open up, it's hard for you to let go of that emotional attachment. And so I feel like it is a strong emotional attachment, but you have bigger things that you need to worry about. You have like your career, you have your financial situation. You have like these bigger things that you need to do for individual character development. You have these, um, you know, like uh, lofty goals that you want for yourself five years, 10 years down the line. And you feel like this relationship might get in the way or it's not in alignment where you can see uh, your career and your relationship head in, in the right direction, in the same direction. So it's a little bit of a challenge here that I'm, I'm sensing for some of you. For those of you, especially um, who have been, you know, if, if you are not at all concerned about your financial situation, and if you are especially in the self-employed um, field, okay, so this can be whatever work that you're doing where you don't really answer to another person, you're answering to yourself or you're answering to, you know, clients demand, etc. Um, there might be a little bit of a slowdown this month when it comes to self-employment, okay? So a little bit of, just a little bit of a slowdown, a little bit of financial worries, a little bit of financial dip. Be very careful about overindulging and overspending, okay? So that's coming through. And um, I also feel as well, travel, relocation, travel is really going to eat into your expenses or, or I'm sorry, it's going to make up the bulk of your expenditures. And so be very careful to, you know, not dip into your savings, save up for a rainy day and try to stay put for a lot of you try to stay put because I feel like there might be a lot of frustration here as it deals with travel. And there might be additional money that is dished out as a result of having to travel. Okay. So I do feel that um, overall, we have a little bit of a mixed bag. Okay. But I do sense, you know, there will be a lot of people that will be in the picture to help you. I just feel overall, you need to stay put and you need to start, you know, strategizing. So think about it like this. It's a, uh, you're an air sign. It's a car, uh, spread for Aquarius. There is not a single sword in the picture. Okay, so I feel like you're, um, you're making very emotional decisions this month and you need to start strategizing in order to make these decisions. Okay, so it's really important for you to, you know, not make decisions on the spur of the moment. 
and not make these especially impulsive decisions to travel, to branch out, to do something very drastic with your career without really sitting down, mulling it over. So I feel a lot of an, a big impulsive energy, but I feel overall, you know, the relationship sector, it looks to me to, to be like, you're getting a lot of support. You're um, getting, you know, you're, you're getting support and even communication from people who really care about you okay and they're trying to steer you in the right way but i feel like you might be um a little bit impulsive for this month so i'm going to go into your love reading um aquarius and i hope it looks better okay i feel like some of you are going to be um taking you know the month of may to really think about your finances where all of your money has gone okay so that that message came out strongly it's almost like i worked so hard and i saved up so much where did all the money go and then you some of you might realize like in the past you might have really overindulged and um the money has been you know wasted and then others of you I feel like uh, you might be thinking that, you know, you need to curb your spending and you need to, you know, really think about long term investment. OK, so I see investment opportunities and I know this is a love reading, but those ideas are coming forth. So let me just see here. Love relationships. Okay, so this is definitely looking good. It's definitely looking really good for you guys. Okay, so let me just talk about this first. I usually pick up the middle cards, okay? So we have here the Nine of Cups as well as the Sun. The Nine of Cups and the Sun basically indicates overall there's going to be a lot of opportunities for socializing um, outings and I feel like the the socializing in the outings is between you and another person okay so it's like a very um, a very ex exclusive uh, type of social outing like going going out whining and dining with another person and just having a very very uh, good connection okay emotionally and just um, career wise so I feel like for some of you if you have been single if you have been, you know, spending the past few months just in seclusion, somebody is breaking you out of your rut and somebody is uh, giving you opportunities to, you know, get to know them and to engage with them one on one and spending a lot of time showering you with a lot of time. And, you know, just um, I'm, I'm feeling like you have narrowed down your choices to one person specifically and you're spending a lot of time with them. OK, so I feel like in the past let me talk about this and this is a good thing overall this is a, the hermit so this has shown up in the past a lot of you have been very jaded about love and you have been very skeptical okay so I feel like since 2016 some of you are just like I don't really know if um, I want to you know expend my energy to date because the dates are just not uh, I'm not dating people that really want to build a relationship. They just want to have fun and, you know, they, they, they're not really my type. So I feel like there was lack of success overall in dating. And then on top of that, you had trouble. I, I feel like some of you were cycling through exes. You had trouble letting go of exes. And there were as well a lot of exes contacting you. A lot of people from the past just wouldn't leave you alone contacting you or you were like thinking heavily about the past and not able to let it go so i feel an element here about a self-imposed isolation that happened in the recent past possibly for the last uh, four months or so and i feel that some of you are bothered by exes some of you are refusing to to you know let the memories of the exes go and to experiment and you know go out and date new people so i feel that you're very much stuck in the past in the stuck in the past relationship in the past and so when you start to break out of your shell and this might have been in april this is like coming out of your isolation okay coming out of fear and um and you know just uh, like the 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 fears associated with having to go out, having to dress up, having to impress another person, having to do small talk to get to know another person. You don't like to do those things. You're not a superficial sign. And so 
you have, you know, um, I, I feel like you have somewhat like kept to yourself. You went out on a few dates here and there, but you pretty much kept to yourself because the, the, the options, the people didn't really live up to your expectations. Okay. So I feel some of you are still dealing with this. And then some of you are taking the time this month to really socialize and stepping out of your shell. And I feel that you have met somebody that you you feel you can build a future with, okay? The Three of Pentacles is a card about collaboration. It's a card about compromise. It's a card about overall people, you know, like needing to co cooperate and also communicate in a way that allows them to work together, okay? So building a foundation, building a future together, seeing yourself with this person. And I feel all, a lot of you have met somebody for this month or are spending a lot of time with somebody for this month who really wants to invest in the relationship, who really wants to build the relationship with you. I feel a very strong earth sign here. So this is a, um, I feel an earth sign possibly in your work environment. So we have here Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? If there is a lot of attraction from, with this person, I feel like they're very, very um, serious and they're very business oriented. So if you're in a dating environment with them, this is somebody that is um, highly respected in their career, highly respected in their field. They, they, um, they know how to like, uh, they have a very strong public image and I feel that they don't take relationships lightly. So I feel like they're still assessing you and they're still trying to see if you measure up to their expectations. So it's not set in stone yet. I do feel there's attraction here. And I feel like, especially if this earth sign is in your work environment, I feel that there's going to be, you know, opportunities for you both to collaborate, possibly do projects together, possibly going out and having good time with each other as well. Like having, um, you know, like, um, it's like a mixture of romantic like um, gatherings and also business gathering, like professional contacts gathering together for happy hour, for example. So um, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you, um, especially if this person is in your work environment. I feel like they're highly respected. They're still not sure and they're not giving you that 100% emotional investment because they, they care about their public image. They care about how other people see them. Okay. And they don't want to get into messy entanglements in the work environment. Um, I do feel there's a lot of attraction here with this earth sign, but I feel that they don't want to get into messy situations. Um, so there's a lot of attraction and I feel like it's being, um, it's being like, it's pushed under the radar. Okay. So I feel like for some of you, you definitely have somebody that you're very, very attracted to. And because you have been attracted to this person for a really, really, really long time, you've kept your dating life on hold in the hopes that the other person will, you know, be a romantic partner to you. So you've kept, you know, options at arm's length. You, you have quite a few suitors, but you just, you know, push them away mainly because you're so, and you know, like Aquarius, you are a fixed sign emotionally. If you, you feel like you like somebody, you will like them, you know, like till the end of time, because I feel that for many of you, your love is very pure and it's very loyal. Okay. And that's the nature of being a fixed sign overall with Scorpio is the same way. Um, but I feel like more so for Aquarius and a lot of the times too, you, when you love somebody, it's not just physical. It's very like, um, I, I want to say it's very spiritual to the point where if you see them, then you're happy and you don't mean anything else. And you feel like, you know, uh, a lot of you might suffer from, you know, like where, where you're loving somebody, but you're not able to tell them how you feel. So I feel like there's an element here, like, um, this, this, it's like feeling very alone in your love, in your appreciation of another person, like admiring them from afar, not being able to tell them how you feel. So I feel like you have an earth sign in your environment. That's like that you're doing this two okay and because you you've liked them for quite some time you kept yourself isolated you refuse to move on and you refuse refuse to date other people and so i feel like that's a little bit detrimental to you always just branch out and you know um take new opportunities when they come in in the dating front okay i feel some of you 
are also in a long distance relationship here with the two of wands and because you're in a long distance relationship you and the other person might not be you know exclusive but you like them a lot and that's why you're willing to do the, the long distance relationship and so you're not dating either you're not dating other people you're not really uh, prone to going out and you know meeting new people so i feel that that's also another blockage for you it's not a bad thing but i feel like some of you have like you, you you justify to yourself i'm keeping myself you know isolated because i like this person and um i don't want to start dating i don't want to branch out it wouldn't be fair to the new person so that's where we're at right now and then others i feel like you're in a relationship the partner is making you feel quite good the relationship itself i feel like this if you're in a relationship right now okay um the relationship is going really well but i feel like something is missing so we have here the nine of cups and the nine of cups is a really good card it's a card about wish fulfillment it's a card about like emotional you know satisfaction overall but there's only one person in this um this card here so with it being a relationship i feel like it's a really good stable solid relationship but there's some element of it missing and i feel like your public image your public life there's something here that's not lining up. So I feel like, yes, this person meets all the criteria. They want to, you know, uh, build a future with you. They want to build a future with you, but you, you might, um, they, they might put their career first. They might, you know, like, um, there might always be like a lot of people around when you're trying to, um, meet them so they they might have a lot of responsibilities they might have be a workaholic they're always working there's always um, colleagues or work associate in their environment so you might have a difficult time like getting them alone okay so that's what i'm sensing overall i feel like it's a little bit of a mixed bag and i also sense that you know we have here heavy earth sign coming through and we have some people in solid relationships where things are actually very stable and then we have singles um eyeing somebody but being too afraid for whatever reason it might be because they're work um, colleagues where you're admiring them from afar and you're not really telling them and there's this very strong you know like physical sexual um, attraction this undercurrent but nothing is like spoken about nothing is like verbalized between you and that person so Aquarius um, as expected you know you guys are quite eccentric so I feel like the there's like three stories here coming coming up in the reading um, so overall I'm gonna uh, stop it here and I feel like what you really want to do and the the foundation here is focus on your work focus on your career don't let you know this fall on the wayside because I feel like this is what you need foundationally okay your public image your career so if you are feeling somebody in the work environment and getting involved with them is really going to hurt your credibility don't do it because your foundation here is your public image is your career is your success so don't risk this okay so i feel like that's the advice that that's coming in for you and then for others who are you know um thinking about like whether or not i should get myself out there i like this person but i can't really do anything about it the point here is that you can definitely still have fun go out with your friends don't neglect your social circle don't isolate yourself give your relationships friendships family relationships um you know give the, give it more attention okay and uh, i'll be back for the mid-month reading okay take care of yourself aquarius i'll talk to you soon bye bye